Hello viewers, for DIYers here, back with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a walkthrough and review on this OBD2 Bluetooth ThinkCar Pro code reader. This is a different model than the previous walkthrough video I released a couple weeks ago. Just like the previous model, this is a subscription-based service. The first year is free, and their app is free to download. A link to the scanner will be included in the video description. I will be using the ThinkDiog app with the Bluetooth scanner too. All their products are interchangeable between each other, which is great for flexibility between their products. Going over the info on the back side of the box, ThinkCar Pro is an automotive Bluetooth diagnostic tool. Make your diagnosis more visible. It has a full system vehicle health detection, full system read and clear diagnostic codes, full system live stream data generating charts with combined data, intelligent identification of a vehicle by the VIN searching, and full coverage for more than 110 vehicle manufacturers. It's able to perform full system scans for ECM, TCM, ABS, SRS, BCM, EPS, IC, TPMS, AC systems, etc. Opening the box, the overall presentation is very professional and similar to the other model. Included in the packaging is a Bluetooth scanner and instructions available in a variety of languages. Each scanner has its own serial number and activation code, which is required to be entered on your first use. Just like the ThinkCar 2, it's compact, doesn't take up much space, and can be easily kept in your pocket or storage box. However, while ThinkCar 2 is intended for those working at home, ThinkCar Pro version is made for professionals working in the field. This one here has an audible beep to signal when certain functions are done, and has three illuminated logos on the front to show its current operation. First is locating the diagnostic port. This will be within 3 feet or 91 centimeters of the steering wheel. For this example, I'll be using the 2001 Toyota Tacoma for a different experience. This is an OBD2 code reader which is used on vehicles 1996 or newer. Some of the OBD2 functions has changed over the years and you'll see that in a moment. The newer the vehicle, the more modules it'll have and this also means more information and controllability. The three lights on the reader include green for when the power is on, blue for when the Bluetooth is connected, and red for when there's an issue on the connection. Ensure the Bluetooth is activated on your phone. Now opening the ThinkDiog app, this is the one with the red logo. If you have multiple ThinkCar devices, click on My Device and check the box for the scan tool you're currently using. I already have an account signed up. This is required for registering your scanner. To activate the scanner, you'll need to click on the activation icon at the top right of the screen. Next is entering in the activation code and serial number of the scanner. This information can be found on your supplied instructions. Once registered, this information is saved and available across all their apps. Clicking on Gadgets, here you can see some extra features beyond scanning. This is a generic app used across many of their scan tools. This particular model does not have a battery test function. Repair info is some preloaded data to learn the operation and functions of some modules for specific vehicles. Here we have a flashlight. This will toggle the built-in light on your smartphone. Report is where your saved data will be from previous scans. Coverage list. This is where you can see if your vehicle is supported. So, you can check this out before purchasing the scanner. Simply type in the info for your vehicle and view the list. Clicking on All System Diagnostic. This is where the reader performs a full system scan on all available modules. Clicking on VIN scan, this will communicate with the modules. In my other video using the 2006 Dodge Ram, its modules have more communication capabilities versus the Toyota where it's an older vehicle, so it has less advanced capabilities. Once that VIN is entered manually, ThinkCar is able to decode the information and determine which data is required. If a data library isn't loaded into the app, you'll need to download it first. With the Pro version, you're allowed up to five different manufacturer libraries. Additional libraries have an added cost. Once downloaded, enter the Save VIN in order to do the system scan. Wait a couple minutes, and you'll be shown another menu for troubleshooting. First, you'll need to set the location. With this being a Tacoma, it's only available in North America. The other review I released uses the same app, however it is slightly different based on the vehicle, so feel free to check it out to get some added experience on testing a slightly newer vehicle. Select the 16 pin, this is the OBD2 diagnostic port. Allow the scan to perform, select Toyota, then Tacoma. 
A menu will pop up with the make, model, VIN, and engine type. And finally, health report. The scanner will read any existing codes. This can take a couple minutes depending on how many readable modules the vehicle has. Once the scan is done, a menu will be shown for the possible scanned areas. Currently, I have a check engine light, which comes and goes. However, the code is still stored without an illuminated light, and I'm able to read it. Here I am able to read the codes, erase the codes, and read the data stream. Clicking on reading codes, there are two codes stored here, both are the same. Just like the other model, a feature I particularly like is this app allows you to do a Google search when clicking on the question mark. This will make a Google search, showing search results specifically for the vehicle I'm working on. So if there was a common fault where people made posts on various forms, you'll be able to find that information along with possible fixes. We can choose to clear codes. Keep in mind, a scan tool does not fix the problem. It's only intended as an assist to help you read any fault codes, monitor different variables, and clear codes once a problem has been repaired. Reading data stream is for monitoring various variables such as throttle position, air pressure, air temperature, fuel trim, oil pressure, etc. Many of these values would require the engine to be running. Here's an example using coolant temperature. And another example using the transmission temperature. Taking a look at the SRS system, I surprisingly have a code here as well, which I'll have to look into more. I don't have a triggered light, so this may be an old code from when I installed the head unit. Going back, next is the system selection. Here we can see specific areas of a vehicle to scan. So this would be various modules equipped in a vehicle. Again, as mentioned earlier, being an older vehicle, it tends to have a simpler system. If the system isn't equipped, a message will pop up stating this. History is for previous scans. And help us for any aid. Back on the main menu, next is the maintenance function. This is software required to access specific features on a vehicle. It's a bi-directional function allowing you to control certain modules such as tire pressure sensors, active lights, ABS activation for bleeding brakes, battery programming, oil light reset, key fob programming, etc. You're able to download up to five different maintenance softwares. The VIN and maintenance softwares work together, so you're able to have access up to five adding both together. Any additional maintenance softwares have a added cost. As an example, clicking on the key fob programming you'll have to read and accept a disclaimer message. Once in, function introduction is at the top to operate this feature. Then it's selecting your vehicle's make and ensure the key is on. We have two different options to select, key and remote control programming. Either option may open up more menus. You'll eventually have to enter your vehicle's model and year. Not all vehicles are able to have this feature access through an app. Older vehicles such as this tends to have a manual bypass. I already know that Tacoma has a button on the side of the module to enter the programming sequence. However, a newer Tacoma may require a bi-directional scanner such as this instead. If you were to download or purchase additional maintenance softwares, this is what you'd see when clicking on each one. You'll have a description of the add-on along with an application list. OBD functions, this is where you're strictly scanning a vehicle's check engine light, so a simpler version of the All Systems Diagnostics. Under this option, you'll be able to scan or clear codes, check the system readiness, view descriptions of codes, view live data, such as what was shown before, freeze frame data, clear codes, check to see if your vehicle is set up for emissions testing, and module information. Moving on to other features with the icons along the bottom. Next is the shopping cart. This is ThinkCar Store, where you're able to view all available products, either devices or app add-ons. The next tab is for any product updates and information from ThinkCar. After that is Messages, a place where you can keep track of information, comments, mentions, and likes. The last tab is your personal profile. The gear at the top right allows you to change the measuring units on the app. Clicking on your name and email, there are options to edit your personal information. Reports are for any saved scan data. Orders are from previous purchases. Diagnostic feedback is your scanning history information. 
Bluetooth firmware fix is the manual install override to fix any issues which you may be experiencing. Firmware fix is the same. This will do a manual install if you're experiencing any issues. And an option to contact ThinkCar if needed. For my final thoughts, older vehicles may not have as much bi-directional programming, so that's certainly something to keep in mind. With the newer vehicles becoming more complicated, this is something that's certainly needed in order to help diagnose and even repair certain areas. While the 2 and Pro versions are similar as mentioned earlier, the Pro version is intended for those who do auto repairs on or closer to a professional level, therefore coming in contact with more vehicles than what you typically own. You're not having to spend a few hundred to a few thousand dollars like those professional units used in automotive repair shops, so this cuts down on your overhead costs. It's compact, which makes it great for storage or mobile work. Most of us already have a smartphone. This works on both iOS and Android devices, so we're already halfway there. It has excellent flexibility and the interface is user-friendly as well. Even beyond working as a mechanic, this is great for locksmiths who offer a key fob or keyless remote programming as an additional service. Have you purchased this product in the past? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.